There's some bad news for taxpayers tonight. The cost of the Fiona Stanley Hospital has blown out by more than $300 million. And a new report claims there were warning signs, but the government didn't act. The delay to Fiona Stanley Hospital is costing taxpayers millions, but a report's found it shouldn't have happened. There was early on some serious concerns about the ability to deliver this hospital. The $2 billion hospital was meant to start treating patients this month, but it won't be fully open until next year. The delay was predicted in four reports produced for government in 2012. They warned of problems in trying to make the hospital paperless. The health minister took one of those reports to Cabinet, which stated they were up to 18 months behind schedule. Clearly I should have made that decision earlier to A, delay the opening, and B, to do the phasing at a much earlier stage. The committee said if that had happened, taxpayers wouldn't be paying Serco as much as they are to run an empty hospital. Earlier notification would have reduced the costs. The minister says he was told by the Director General things were on track, but the report found he was only given limited information. Although the report says it was the Director General's duty to make sure the Minister was properly informed, it does not excuse the Minister's failure to ask questions given he'd previously been warned about the risk to the project. The committee found the government didn't assess whether its deadline was realistic when it signed the contract with Serco, a serious oversight and failure that has cost a significant sum of money. Treasury said that cost is more than $300 million. It's an absolute fair fee. Dr Haim says it's only $16 million. Josh Yerger, Nine News.